Welcome to this training video for the Blizzard Air Ambulance Edition. The Blizzard Air Ambulance Edition kit includes a three layer Reflexel blanket with integral hood, a beanie hat and four large heat pads. There is also an integral handle to allow easier carrying to the patient. Use the carry handle located at the top of the package for transportation. Break the seal on the bag and unfold the product to allow the heat pad warming process to start. It will take 10 to 20 minutes to reach optimum temperatures, so consider doing this early in the patient's care. Locate the green beanie hat and apply to the casualty's head or stow until the casualty is placed in the product. To unfold, grasp each side and fully expand the product widthways along the whole length. Peel open the central hook and loop access panel indicated by black tape. Stretch the back panel material sideways before the casualty is placed in the product, ensuring the heat pads on the side panels are away from where the casualty's back will be placed. To ensure correct orientation, the head end is indicated by the single layer shoulder flaps and upper silver part of the back panel area. Once the casualty is in the product, fold the side panels over onto the casualty's body, ensuring the heat pads lay on the chest and groin areas on both sides. Do not place the casualty on top of the heat pads at any time. Check the heat pads are not located directly on any pressure points, medical equipment or fixtures. Do not expose the heat pads directly to neat oxygen, this will cause them to overheat. Close the central hook and loop system all the way up to the casualty's chin. Fold and tuck the single layer material over each shoulder to control airflow movement while leaving the head exposed. If further closure is required, fold over the integral hood from behind the casualty's head and join to the opposing hook and loop closures on each side of the shoulder area. Tuck excess materials and close off any open gaps around the shoulders, neck and sides to ensure a snug seal around but not covering the face. The hook and loop closures at the sides and foot end can allow for patient handling, access to limbs and medical equipment, but remember to seal off any gaps. Insulation from the ground is considered essential for the product to offer its optimum performance. Remember, all closures and airflow gaps must be sealed off to create a microclimate around the whole body, trapping warm, radiated air. Continuously monitor the casualty. If there is any sign of discomfort, overheating or redness of the skin, Remove the heat pads immediately. Thank you for watching. For further information, please go to www.blizzardsurvival.com.